But me, it's like, uh, it gives me question marks. Can we really trust the Celtics to actually go and win it? I, I, I feel the same way. Oh, boy. I feel the same way. Um, you know, I feel the same exact way. So, for me, looking at the Celtics over the years, it's been the same questions with them historically, right? Like, I mean, Jason Tatum's performance just fluctuates. I don't know how a team can expect to win a championship when your star player's performance fluctuates so much game to game. You know what I mean? And then J- Jalen Brown, you know, couldn't go left last year, and I don't think he's really resolved it. I haven't watched him much, so I don't want to speak, you know, Celtics fans be on my on my behind in the comments because I'm, you know, maybe he is going left all of a sudden. But um, you know, I, I just feel like they're those two guys are very inconsistent, you know, and, and they're the head of the snake and they lead this, they lead the charge for your team. You know, on any given night, they can be off. And in the playoffs, we've seen that happen. We've seen that rear its ugly head. Plus, they take a ton of threes that make up for their basketball team. Um, so it's just one of those things where, you know, I'm not entirely sure, you know, what we can expect. From them, um, you know, on a night to night basis. So I, I wonder about, um, you know, what we're going to get from that team when it, when it matters, because the performance can just be questionable at times. The coaching obviously can be questionable too. He's very reliant on three ball, he's very reliant on Jason Tatum trying to play hero ball down the stretch. And, you know, you're going to get Chris Dasperzingis uh, and also getting J- Drew Holiday, which are two great signings. It doesn't necessarily solve that problem when, when the game's in the line. You know, you're going to go to a guy like, you know, Jalen Brown and say, hey, bail us out. Bail us out of this mess, right? And it, he has shown us on multiple occasions that he's going to come up small. And so, I, you know, can we trust him? Do I trust him? No, I, I don't. I think that the East is wide open because of it. Obviously, Joel Embiid tore his meniscus. So we don't even know what the outlook on him is, if he can come back this season. I don't. I didn't see them rule him out for the rest of the year. So I guess they, they're holding out hope that he'll be ready by the playoffs or middle of the playoffs or whatever. But you can pretty much rule out the Sixers. They're not, they're not going to be a heavy hitter. So now a team like the Knicks who are surging at the right time and really playing great basketball and are a move away, you know, they have a chance to really make some noise, get to the Eastern Conference Finals, and they they would really ruffle the, the, the Celtics feathers, give them a hard time in, in a seven game series. So this is a this is a tough year. I mean, this is a, there's a lot of parity in the East. You don't know who could win it all. Um, there are teams you can rule out, but I think the Knicks have a chance to really make some noise. I know I'm bringing them up out of nowhere, but they're a team that they're they're a rising team that can really give a team like the Celtics a hard time with OG all the wing defending the defending they have. Um, they they have a chance. Hey, I'm glad you brought up the Knicks before I even talk about them. To your point, Tatum, 8 for 21 tonight, 5 of 10 from 3, 23 points, 7 rebounds. Jalen Brown, 4 of 12, 0 of 3 from 3 point, 8 rebounds, 7 assists, and 8 points. As a team, 16 for 48 yep. from the 3 point. But it boils down to. So I just diagnosed 48. them. I just diagnosed that basketball team without even watching the game. I didn't watch the second of the game, and I just told you it was just probably because Jason Tatum played bad because he disappears. It's probably because Jalen Brown played bad because he disappears and can't go left, and they take a, too many threes as a team. Missoula wants to play that way and take a million threes. I told you that without even watching the game, and I was right about everything I just said, and I didn't even look at the box score. You know what I mean? They're predictable. When, they, when they're bad, it's very predictable. So it just it, it's so obvious what's wrong with the basketball team. They need to mix up their plan of attack. Um, it's a philosophical problem from the top from the top down, where the way that they want to get up all these threes. I know analytic is, is king, but you're going to want to get some shots at close to the basket, draw some fouls, get to the free throw line, and mix up your attack, especially when guys aren't making shots. But they live and die by that three ball, and they live and die by Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. And you're going to die sometimes. And you'll die enough times to not get to the, to the NBA Finals or get there and come up short. You don't pick your poison. That's the way I see it. Um, so we keep talking about how they all have all this time with those two guys leading the charge because they're young. But before you know it, they'll be older and their time will run out. 